Good evening and welcome to King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story for you. I'm Mr. Leeds, this is Kaya, and Mrs. Leeds. Hi everyone. And uh, we do a lot with children's ministry. And tonight's story is Paul and Silas in the prison. Here's the picture of Paul and Silas and they're in the prison. And this is from Acts chapter 16. As the churches grew, uh, the believers spread out further from Jerusalem. Diligent missionaries were filling Jesus' commission to take the gospel to the whole world. Paul and Silas traveled far away to Philippi in northern Greece. There, they taught some people who often gathered beside the river to pray. One day, Paul and Silas met a slave girl who brought her masters much money by fortune telling. It grieved Paul's heart to know that an evil spirit was working through her. That means it made him really sad. Uh, so he told the evil spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her. At once the spirit left her. Now the girl's owners were angry because their source of easy money was gone. So they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the judge. These men are Jews, they cried. They are stirring up trouble by teaching customs contrary to Roman laws. Soon a mob joined the attack. Paul and Silas were whipped publicly and thrown into the innermost dungeon of the prison. Paul and Silas were peaceful and happy in spite of their painful bruises and bleeding backs. At midnight, they prayed and sang songs to the Lord. Never before had the other prisoners heard anything like this. Suddenly, a violent earthquake shook the prison to its very foundation. The doors flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. Truly, God was answering prayer. The jailer woke up and saw the open doors, he was terrified, thinking the prisoners had all escaped. Surely he would be blamed for carelessness. In despair, he drew his own sword to kill himself. Then Paul called out, Don't harm yourself, for we are all here. The jailer called for a light, and he fell down before Paul and Silas, trembling. What must I do to be saved? He asked, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you and your household will be saved, they replied. What a night it was for the jailer and his family. After tending to the wounds of Paul and Silas, the whole family was baptized. Then a delicious meal was served, with everyone rejoicing in their new faith in the Lord Jesus. So here in our story, uh, Paul and Silas... They're over here in prison, and you see how they're shackled up to their, their feet. And then that's shackled to um, the floor right here. That's, that's pretty tough. And they were shackled up all because they just told a spirit, a demon, to get out of this girl. And the people were really upset about it because they couldn't use her anymore to tell futures and things like that. That was pretty crazy. And Mrs. Leeds has some questions. Okay, so our first question is, when did Paul and Silas start singing? Um, when they were like shackled up and stuff. Like when they're shackled, like when their ankles are shackled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our second question is, why was the jailer so scared? Because he was scared that um, the prisoners escaped. That the prisoners escaped. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. What did Paul and Silas tell the jailer to do? To repent 
from his sin and then his household will be saved. Yeah, and believe on the name of the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, very good. Okay, Mr. Very Lewis. good. Okay, and again, that's from Acts 16. And the key verse there is Romans 10, 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And the um, jailer and his whole family heard that for the very, very first time, and they all got saved. So that was a blessing from that jail time. So you never know. Crazy things might happen. They were imprisoned wrongfully, but it was good that they went to jail. That's weird, right? But um, they... The jailer and his whole family got saved because of it. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, God, for uh, this lesson time and the story time. Lord, we pray that uh, you just help us all to learn a, a blessing from this um, story. Lord, to learn that even in the hard times, Lord, there might be a reason why uh, we're there. It might be to help others. And help us to be focused on that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, and remember, 1 Peter 2, 9, you, you are, are a king's, king's kid. kid. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.